What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Tuner Things. So I am here with my two girls. Hi. The Integra is up here on jack stands in the garage. As you can see, she's off the ground. So we're gonna be not only doing the exhaust, but we're also gonna be doing the oil pan gasket. So I have some Honda Bond right here, and we're gonna be using that along with the Permatex gasket and refilling it with some oil. All right, let's get to it. So I have been using a fucking chisel, breaking off this old gasket in little pieces. It is miserable. All right, I'm gonna keep at it and I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. Alrighty, last update for the night. I'm going in. Um, I've got this wire wheel down. A few nicks and scratches, but it should be okay. As you can see, it was a really messy night for me last night. I did manage to get the oil pan wire brushed, as you can see here. That was what a pain in the ass. You can see it broke off in these little tiny chunks. So there's that. That was a real bitch. So last night I discovered I was missing two nuts and two bolts on my oil pan, which obviously had no no bearing on why I was leaking. So uh, I kind of I, last night I aborted the mission. It was midnight. It was late. I was tired, and I just wanted to go to bed. My wife leaves early in the morning. She's my other ride to the store, and uh, so I needed some M6 nuts. And I was like, I'm done for the evening. Not remembering that I have this engine, which uses the same ones. There should be a couple right here. I'm gonna rob those and I'm going to put them on here and get this back assembled. I will check in with you guys in a little bit. Oil pan is on. Exhaust is all but one hanger off. Everything is, oh, this is a, such a pain in the ass. Such a pain in the ass, but Integra is definitely easier than some other cars. Definitely easier than my Subaru was. So I'm gonna finish taking this off, get the new exhaust lined up, and get it put on. All right. Alrighty, y'all. So I got the old manifold back on because the manifold and downpipe did not fit for this exhaust, but uh, I replaced the cap with the test pipe and bolted that up to uh, the downpipe and the header, exhaust header. First impression is that it sounds like shit. I kind of wish that um, I've been able to get the header on. I'm gonna keep it, I guess, and just see if uh, I can maybe have a shop work on it and just re-weld it in a different position. It's just, it's so close. It just needs to be extended a little bit. And um, 
I don't have a. I can't weld, so. Yeah. Let's go under here. It's starting to rain, as you guys can see. Anyway, um, yeah, I mean, it's on there, and uh, it was a pain in the ass. I had to take it off and on, put it on three or four times. It wouldn't have been that way, but I couldn't get the parts to, like, exactly line up because I'm cheap and I bought a fucking eBay exhaust, but, you know, it is what it is. Anyway, so we got the oil pan done. Oh, shit. Power's flickering. So we got the oil pan done. I got the test pipe put on and a uh, cat back, I guess, which is great. Oil's changed with high mileage oil. It's full synthetic. Super tech brand. So yeah, she desperately needs a cleaning because I've gotten oil everywhere. Grease, smudge marks. I'm not clean when I work on my car, so. Alrighty, well, I'm gonna go in, cut this video up, throw it up online. Hey, if you guys have made it this far and you aren't subscribed yet, smash that subscribe button and turn on notifications. I'm trying to post almost every day. Uh, I missed yesterday and I'm sorry about that. But I'm doing my best here. While I have the time, I'm trying to get as many videos out as possible. So, hell yeah. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Peace out, Cub Scouts.